Okay, we're finally in, and I see some drawings. So this is Alethea. This is where I was born. Where you were made. I assume these drawings were from the ones who used to live in here. They're actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, look at this. So these are artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? So this was it. Where you were born. Wow, so these chambers hosted future bodies? Wow. Tons of future bodies, okay. Let me check out where... Whoa, look at that! Another drawing. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys, but most importantly, please subscribe to my channel, that way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me, and hit the notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. Aw, look at the cute little fox! Aww. I love it. Okay. Another one? Is this it? These look like... cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And wow. Things. The, the multi-servitors. They took care of them. There was no one else. Uh children's babysitting station here holy cow okay hold on let me see if i'm able to get in no i'm not but well not this way anyways wow that's crazy get out okay this this definitely opens my eyes it really does who knows if maybe Uh oh. Sleep, mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. Wow, that didn't end well. And look, that's a robot. Disguised as a human. Yeah, these creatures, they they definitely felt cabin fever. Look at the drawings though. Wow. Okay. Another one? What's this? Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. Are they left? These are yellow and black, it's and they love the flowers. Here so they up. come. Hold on. <laughs> Another robot. Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person! You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. Let me guess, they fooled around, fell in love maybe? And now the robots are trying to supervise, what? Older teens, young adults? What's this? I have no choice but to release you. Why? There is no food here anymore. But there's what? Food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. 
and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here and sleep and remember all of you. Oh, that's what so will sad. Happen to us? You will be brave and you will learn. That's crazy. So they've been here, sheltered all their lives, and then one day they're just pushed out into the world. Assuming that they're going to survive all on their own. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so, I mean... I found another one. What's Someday, this? Someday, that's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Yo, they jumped the Physical robot? Aggression is not permitted. Ooh. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! It's like no, they... Their whole lives. In so... view of luxurious space. What? What went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Okay, so that blue and white's the healer, and I assume that bot is the one that, what, stungs them or electrocutes them whenever they're misbehaving? Wow, this is crazy. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. Her, her identity scan. To open for them. Genetic identity confirmed. Of course Entry they need it. authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. Place of learning, so, okay. What was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. Why not? Welcome, students. Please pick up a focus device and place it on the side of your head, just behind your eye. I had to bridge the pits Hello, of the world child. looking for focuses My to repair. My name is Samina. And here sat a troll. Today is a big day. And Your Lord. first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Wow, oh, so this no. was their school? All right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. That sarcasm's not appreciated. Hey, My name is Samina. Hey, Today Samina. is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. All right, so same message, I assume. Wait, hold on. I want to explore some more. Like, what is this? Wow, this is multi-layered, what, VR learning? And they were producing this much babies that they needed all of this? It goes on and on. I'm not going to lie. This, this, this is a little bit creepy. It really is. And there's no way for me to get downstairs, so I'm not even gonna try it at this point. Okay, so they installed a whole mini school once they're old enough to learn. Meanwhile, they were babysat, taken care of, fed. Okay, hold on. This? I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Sure, sure. Great deal of knowledge. Cool. What am I looking at? Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, 
The Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. 53 For days? Reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. What? And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner. Oh, and eventually, great. it will break down. What does she mean? A derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. So that's While why I'm here. All directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility. All available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. Damn, Hades, really? Yes. It, they are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. Okay. Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go so to much the faith. Of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Oh, Gaia. Damn. That really hits in the feelings. Wow, this is intense. Like, the pressure is getting wasa. You're even more extraordinary than I thought. Okay. Thanks. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two. A dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. She's having an identity crisis right Mind now. Destruction. Alloy. And fire. No, 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 alloy. To You're... the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. Shut up, Silas. You're not you helping. A destiny to fulfill. She's so freaking out. Let her freak out. Sorry for yourself. Go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. He is so insensitive. What an ass. She's clearly suffering a identity crisis, and you're just minimizing and invalidating what she's feeling. This is one hell of a revelation for her. And you're just taking it like it's just some gossip that you somehow are feeling so inconvenienced of learning about. It's okay, Eloy. I got you. I got you. No worries. Woo! I thought I was gonna die. So we're going up, right? Am I... Okay. I got exit, right? Can I do this? Ooh. Great. Okay, that really sucks, I'm not gonna lie. So exit the facility, right? So what do I have to do? I have to climb up, right? 
Say less. We're gonna climb up. So jump. Okay. Let's go, Alloy. Let's go. Woo! Okay, we successfully got to the bottom. Yay! Anyways, let's go. Come on, Alloy. We gotta climb all the way to the top. We got this. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is it, right? Yeah, we're here. Oh, great. And then she has to tell all of those people what she learned. Good luck, Alloy. Seriously, good luck. Why are you kneeling, bro? Cut it out. Hey, Aloy. Forgive. Forgive. Wow, Landra. That spoke to you. That's a lot coming from you. She did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? Yeah, why not? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. Nora. What? All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. Up. All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this? Yeah, you're hypocritical for that. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. That's right, Alloy, you tell them! How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy! Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow. Oh, they have a lot to learn, honestly. But at least, at least she's being appreciated for once, you know? She's the one. Yep, I'm, I'm the one. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. Because I appreciate you, there Teresa, no why not? Now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. Uh, it's... Really not that simple, Tirsa. But I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh, thank you. Wow. Honestly, though, the only real person that's been by my side my whole life is Teresa. So I have so much respect for her. Tirsa. Oh, Tirsa, sorry. I want to know Rost's story. Why he was made an outcast. Yeah, tell me now. He never told me. Said tell me? Tell me the scoop. Silence. What did he do? Oh. Yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it now? I have all the time in the world. Like, tell me, please. I've been waiting for this since I was a baby. Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids, a band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil, they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Okay, then what? 
like finish the story mother's vigil where's that you would know it as the forsaken village near the karja border but at the time many families lived there ross was one of them his mate was killed fighting the outlanders and oh, his daughter no. was among those taken hostage oh no what what was her name alana she was just six years old. Oh my gosh. I think I know how this ends, but I want to hear it Nora still. Graves couldn't stop 12 outlanders or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a brave came within bowshot, the outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What? They, they disappeared with the kid? What happened to Rost's daughter? She was killed. Oh my God, Rost was she? was one of the braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Okay. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats. No. And left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. No. Why? cruelty they knew the faithful nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies let alone pursue them wow they that's sick safe from our vengeance okay you know what i know exactly what ross did then because i would have rost went after them that he became an exile i would no. have done the same rost was beside himself with grief but even so he would never have broken taboo Oh. Then what did he do? He's better than me. He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a death seeker. A what? What the? What is that? A death seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking. And in seeking, brings death to others. Hmm. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body. Releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. So he became an avenger? Is that it? Avenging the deaths? How is that a bad thing? But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was delirious in agony by law he should have died where he lay but one of the hunters broke taboo and reaching across the border she dragged him to our side who was, who was it a brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that rost pursued okay keep going so rost never finished his mission to the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. 
He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. So that's why he was made into an outcast. Honestly, though, hearing all of this gives me so much more respect for Ross. Because honestly, I'm not going to lie, if some animal killed my daughter and left her corpse like that, I would have done the same decisions, the same actions, because that is so filthy, that is so dirty. Why you just welcome him back? Because he's a death seeker, seeker, that's why. Illinois. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that. So you had mercy. Offered a compromise. Thank you. you. Made him an outcast. Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. That's filthy Ross too, was but... Overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. And he's a good man for that. He certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? Mm. I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. She's right, Alloy. The way he looked at you. Great. That's quite a story. Oh, in my feelings, I'm really about to low-key cry. Oh, okay, give me a moment. I could see why Alloy would say that, but at the end of the day, though, Ross knew the consequences to his actions, and he was still willing to do it. And yeah, it sucks, he lost his daughter. But honestly, as soon as he laid his eyes on you, Alloy, he felt like he finally had the chance to redeem himself. And to actually enjoy being a father. So, Teresa's right. You're a gift. You're definitely not a curse or a burden in any way. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, Anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare Seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the Goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Okay. And that's about it. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years and for telling me Rost's story. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. I still appreciate As you, Tressa. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, Aww. thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.